Do you know what is the third leading cause of death for young people between the ages of 15 and 24 in the United States? If you answered suicide, you were right. In fact, among all American citizens, suicide is the 10th leading cause of death, with more people dying by their own hand than in car accidents. Yet looking at all the nations of the world for which statistics are available, the United States ranks 33rd with a rate of 12 suicides per 100,000 people. The rate in China is 10 more, 22 per 100,000, and Japan is 21 while Russia is 20. South Korea and Lithuania rank second and third on this list with rates of 31 suicides per 100,000 people. First on the list, far and away the most suicide-prone country in the world with a rate of 108 suicides per 100,000 people is the icy, dark country of Greenland. Many factors lead people to take their own lives. Chemical imbalances of the brain, economic and marital difficulties, bullying and rejection by peers, to name a few. According to Dr. Richard O'Connor, a psychologist who has struggled with depression himself, there is no one cause and therefore no one way of treating depression. His 1997 book, Undoing Depression, What Therapy Doesn't Teach You and Medication Can't Give You, is an excellent guide to all the factors that make up depression and ways of treating it. Pope Francis has clearly shown that his heart goes out to people who struggle with depression. Since becoming Pope, he called an Italian man who was struggling to forgive God after the murder of his brother, and he also called an Italian engineering student who had written him about his fears of not finding work after graduation. And in late August, he called and talked for a half hour with a woman in his home country of Argentina who had been raped by a local policeman. Thus, it should be no surprise that this month, in our general prayer intention, we are praying with Pope Francis that those feeling so crushed by life that they want to end it may sense the nearness of God's love. How can they be helped to feel the nearness of God's love? Pope Francis shows us the way by our own reaching out to them, showing them that they are not alone. There's a story told of a mother who heard her child crying in the middle of the night and went to him. He had been awakened by a nightmare and was terrified don't be afraid, his mother told him. God is here. He's everywhere. He'll protect you. Yeah, the little boy replied, but I need someone with skin. In other words, he needed someone there that he could feel and touch, someone whose protecting presence he could sense. That's us. We are the body of Christ. We bring God's tangible presence into our world and into the lives of those who are feeling alone and crushed by life. We help them carry their burdens. St. Teresa of Avila, whose feast we celebrate on October 15th, wrote, Christ has no body but yours, no hands, no feet on earth but yours. Yours are the eyes with which he looks compassion on this world. Yours are the feet with which he walks to do good. Yours are the hands with which he blesses all the world. Yours are the hands, yours are the feet, yours are the eyes. You are his body. Christ has no body now but yours. Through our prayers and our acts of love, may we bring God's loving presence to all those who are desperate.